Got a new mount, we're gonna try it out today. Saw this in the Adam LZ channel. Thought it was a genius idea because I wanted a center mount for a POV shot. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. In today's episode, we are going to be headed down to Garage 2233. We are going to check out the cars and do a more in-depth update with what's happening with the cars that are over there. We have actually four or five Porsches lined up there and it's been a while already since they finished any of the cars. Although we did order some more parts for each of the cars. Today we're going to get a full update on what's happening, when we can expect these cars out and hopefully that we can test drive them soon. Also, we're trying to request if we can test drive the 964 Turbo that they assembled because that car I really want to feature on the channel because it looks like a nice sleeper, well-built, very lightweight and then super strong performance engine. We are in the 992 GT3 right now and we have 8,456 kilometers. We are almost there to the 1,500 required break-in procedure but for now we're gonna see how much more kilometers we can put in before we need to go to our appointment this afternoon so it's gonna be a short quick drive and I have the new GoPro mount hopefully that looks good as well you guys can enjoy some POV shots because I did get a comment saying like why am I holding the cam with a manual and honestly it's not that hard um, I'm actually so used to driving or holding the steering wheel and support with my knee that it keeps the car straight so I don't know if I can show you guys that technique but I've been doing it for decades already so but right now again I have the GoPro right here so hopefully that's gonna give us the POV shots that we need and then showing the manualness also of the car so let's get out of here I wonder how this video looks the cam looks like it's moving just a little I hope the clip doesn't damage the carbon also that's holding into the seat but you can get a good view of my view and our drive. So I will be testing the audio also from the GoPro now mounted on the seat. I checked the footage real quick and it is vibrating just a tad. Hoping that's fine. Hope you guys enjoy this field of view. So as soon as we jump into the 992 GT3, I usually put it on sport mode and then I turn off the auto blip over here and then you can turn off the start stop function as well. Granted, it is so traffic today so not going to be able to go anywhere. That lane is terrible. This lane's also pretty bad but not like bad lane. to Garage 2233, I was on the phone with Andy talking about more cars. So we're kind of late, but we're gonna get a quick update. Oh my god, it's so hot today. Boom, hotness. This is the car I want to test out on the channel. 964, it's got center locks, AP brakes, super lightweight. Love the build of the car. Let's go check out some cars inside. Oh, wow, okay. Noah's on the ground. Woohoo! You guys sorted the shifter already? Yeah, it's still a little, it feels a little stiff though. Nice to see Noah off the lifter, now on the ground, doing some final, final checks. Um, I heard Kyle had to redo the air suspension system, but everything is on already. This is part of the update. Obviously, we want to get RWB Noah out of here already. It's been a minute since the car has been here. I still need to make a carbon splitter again for it, retouching the front bumper. But after that, this car will be good to go. So excited to bring this around again on the channel. Uh, this car, Alfredo is saying the electrician is already lined up for it. But still here, still not running, still <laughs> no one working on it, sadly. Let's do a quick montage of Noah. Fredo is looking for updates on the parts that just arrived but over here in the 993 Turbo they actually did a dry ice blast for some of the parts. The transmission over here along with the, some of the cradles and suspension arms and spindles have been dry ice blasted so on Monday they are going to dry ice blast the whole under chassis. Because the car came from the east coast it actually has a lot of grime from 
just the like the filth from the road that's gunked up and then stuck to the bottom of the car. So they're going to dry ice blast everything from the arms down to the bottom of the car to make it super pristine. We're gonna try to steal dry ice blast clips from them so that we can plug it into the vlog over here. We also had to order a new clutch kit which is coming with the turbo and cam kit and the ECU was sent back to Germany so that it could have been retuned so that it would uh, go and match the new setup of the car. We're targeting about I think 500 horsepower at the wheels if I'm not mistaken. This car will be an RWB. I've decided that um, I was gonna RWB this car instead of the 993 C4S because when I closed carport, the maroon 993 that I owned already had an RWB kit for it. It was waiting for Nakai to come, but because I sold the maroon 993, I actually ended up missing having a street 993 with an air-cooled motor. Hence, when this project came along or when this car came along, I was so excited to buy it, but I was actually just gonna buy it to hold it as an original 993 turbo. But I couldn't help myself. Um, Nakai Stratana is based off a 993 turbo and I decided that why not? Since the RWB projects for me are near and dear to my heart, I don't wanna sell them. I might as well use this bad boy over here as the base project. Now, the name of the RWB, I'm still toying around with some names. Obviously, Victoria was named after my brand, Victoria Court. But now with this car, I might name it a different brand. RWB Noah, on the other hand, was named after our first pet, Noah, who passed away. And this is the way to immortalize Noah's name in our hearts. So RWB Noah also will never be sold. And then now the 993 Turbo. So this is gonna be interesting what name I'm going to use for this next project. Now, Nakai is not going to come and build the 993 for us. I'm gonna be doing it along with my staff. So it's gonna be an exciting project because we have quite a few things that we wanted to include in the build of the car. Should be crazy, should be fun, and I'm super excited to get this car out. So we have a ton of parts over here. Some uh, drop spindles from Elephant Racing, which I think are BBI. I ordered some Recaro Sports receipts from Jeff. And yeah, just overall, we're super lucky that the motor is fresh. There's no leaks on the motor. Stock brakes still, I uh, don't know if I'm gonna upgrade that later on, but all the parts are here. They're just waiting for a few more components. I think when the turbo parts get here, obviously because we gotta open the cams and stuff, that's when they're going to start moving on this. So this car actually might be finished sooner than the other projects because mostly bolt-ons and the parts are all available. Unlike the other projects, they're full custom cars or full rebuild, so it's very different. The 964 Targa still has a lot of things missing for it, and I'm hoping Alfredo can get those ready. So hopefully it arrived with the parts that he just ordered. Whew. This car is already running Bilstein coilovers, which I'm gonna remove and transfer to the other car. I did get some MCS coilovers for this 993 project, which means we can run a little lower, a little more aggressive also for the handling of the car. I have a Fab Speed X pipe coming as well for this car. The 2B side exhaust that I ordered were actually already running 2B side exhaust, so we didn't need to install those. So those will go into the 964, sorry, those will go into the 993 C4S. All these parts, new billet covers, new seals, eye rods, sway bar links, drop links, solid stiff suspension mounts. Should we upgrade the brakes to AP Racing and do center locks? Hmm. Um, mags wise, I'm probably gonna run mags from Vicky. We have a lot of old mags from Vicky, so don't need to buy any more rims. Uh, I can just ra transfer whatever we have for Victoria already. Ah, oh, we got Noah running. Noah's barely running. Um, alternator's out now, so the electricity is not so good. They said there's some noise happening in the build. Smells rich. I mean, at least she's idling better than before. Yeah, I was actually idling pretty uh, good yesterday, then only this morning. Like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's a little yeah, rough, but kind of done already. This car's for sale, guys. Seven and a half million. US version, looks like it. I mean, needs a lot of TLC for sure. How does it run? Standard. It's in stock. Yeah, stock. The engine service oils were done. So asking Alfredo to finish the chin of Noah because we did crafty chin. 
he's gonna have to repaint this and then build us a carbon splitter. This is the car I wanna test on the channel. It's so beautiful. Fred has said the owner will lend it to us one day, but uh, they're just revising the exhaust from being too noisy. Check out the AP Racing Carbon Ceramic Center Lock Wheels. Looks so good. Check out this chair. This chair is very special. It is the Carbon uh, Recaro Racer Pro, or in, in Japan it's a different name also, but this is the German version. I'm gonna sit in it and see if I really want the seats. I'm trying to see if I want to order the seat for the M4 also for the track. And according to Jeff, the seat is actually very thin film, but it feels better. I think of all the seats, the SVJ race seat is the worst seat because it is like the foam is like almost non-existent. This seat actually still feels comfy. Um, it's a bit loose for me in terms of the butt wiggle room, but the Japan version should be a little skinnier and more built for Asian size. I love the throwback to the wood shift knob like the Carrera GT. We have these interesting knobs here, spoiler hazards, the exclamation point which is actually supposed to be down here, and then the key lock and unlock also has a carbon prototipo Momo wheel and the gauges look amazing. Check out the rear seat delete. I asked Alfredo to make something like this for the 964 Targa as well. And then the MCS uh, external reservoir chrome mirror. Okay, I think these seats work. Bye Fredo, thanks uh, for the conversation. Hopefully I can test drive this car soon because that's a lightweight 964 turbo. It has a 996 GT3 gearbox. I just found that out now. But Fredo just gave us all the updates for the cars. They are working on everything. I think the 993 Turbo will be out first from all the cars here. I'm glad Noah is also running. So we just need to figure out the noise from the motor. And then they're going to do a retune for the ECU and then test drive to break in the engine. Um, again, the yellow 911 is electrical issues. It's lined up already with them. The Targa, we're just waiting for parts. Alfredo said stuff arrived this week already. So hopefully things have been delivered. We're gonna find out soon more in the weeks to come. But for now, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this short content. I'll see you guys again in the next video. It's hot in the city.